Hi friends, my name is Gloria and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different if you could already tell by the title. I'm going to be talking about my puzzle collection. Now I know it's not always the case, but a lot of times people who love reading also love to do puzzles. I am definitely one of those people. Absolutely love a good puzzle. I turn on an audiobook. It's actually one of my favorite ways to consume audiobooks is just to do a puzzle. Really this video idea came to me because last year I did a board game collection video and that one was very popular. I know that there's a puzzle tube. There's people who love to watch puzzle videos on YouTube as well. I don't plan to make a lot of puzzle videos at all, but I just wanted to show my collection. Really, it started with me needing to clean out my puzzle and board game closet because it was becoming a little ridiculous. And I believe we are gonna get some new board games for Christmas. And I just absolutely had no room in that closet. So I really cleaned out that entire closet, took everything out. I decided I'm gonna be getting rid of and passing along some puzzles and keeping the ones that I really care about. Hence, this puzzle collection video. First, I'll start with the little puzzles that I love, have completed, and will be keeping because I am a puzzle redoer. I usually wait like about a year and I don't have any problems doing a puzzle twice. So I'll start with those and then I'll talk about some puzzles that I own that I have not yet done that I will be doing and then a bunch that I will be unhauling or passing along because I'm borrowing and they need to be moved on as well. So that's this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Let's get started. I'll start with the brand Gallison. So this is the very first Gallison puzzle I received. This particular brand is really popular in Barnes and Nobles. They always have this brand of puzzles there. And I love this one because it's two separate puzzles and they're quite small. It's a coffee and a donut and they're fun little shapes. So the edges are really unique. Thoroughly enjoyed this. I've done this several times. Fantastic puzzle and it makes a great gift. The other Gallison puzzle that I actually received for Christmas about three years ago now is this lovely bird and orange and there's even little bees on it. I've done this one a few times as well. For me, Gallison puzzles are pretty good quality and the pictures are always really beautiful so it's like the perfect combo i really enjoyed them and then the final gallison puzzle i got last year for christmas is this lovely usa map of state flowers it's absolutely beautiful it's a lot of fun i've also done this one a few times another puzzle brand that i absolutely love is flow puzzles now i've done a flow puzzle that i borrowed from a friend of mine that was like a vase of flowers and it was actually very difficult because there's a lot of the same pattern and it was just like placing pieces over and over just to see if they fit and that kind of puzzling is a little bit annoying to me this one however is this lovely camping summer camping puzzle it's a lot of fun it's really cute also would recommend as a great gift now i'm a bit hesitant with keeping these puzzles i'm sure that you've seen these around if you've ever walked into a bookstore a lot of bookstores have these as gifts as well or like gift shops these are cavallini and co i have a bee themed one and a floral one i've also seen like cactus ones and, and a bunch of other ones now these are absolutely stunning they're really cool containers the design is really beautiful however the puzzle quality not so much they are very very thin they're very flimsy the paper print of the puzzle peels away from the cardboard of the piece and also once you're done as cool as this bag is it's very annoying to try to stick back into this container so it's not my favorite brand of puzzles as beautiful as they are i probably won't be purchasing from them again just because the puzzle quality is completely subpar but i will be keeping these for now because i've only done them once and i would probably would love to do them again and then i'll probably pass them along to a friend i usually do a thousand piece puzzles but i have a few 500 piece ones that were so much fun and i absolutely loved this one is my newest purchase i bought this at one of those like board game stores that are in the mall because you know, like every mall has one of those. But this one I got and it's absolutely lovely. I actually did this one in I think a recent vlog of mine. The brand of this puzzle is Story Puzzle and the illustrator is Julia Rothman. I absolutely loved it, really cute like animal and she had a few other designs that were really lovely as well. I found that the quality of this puzzle was great and I would definitely be buying from this brand again if I happen upon them. This one was a total splurge for me. I paid $35 for this 500 piece puzzle from Seltzer. As fun as this puzzle was, this really fun ramen bowl, I would not recommend the quality of this as well. It's very flimsy. It almost feels like it's made from like a recycled material, which is cool, but not really great if you want a puzzle to hold up or if you want to do it several times. So as fun as this was, it's not the most amazing quality, so I wouldn't be buying from this brand again. However, I am keeping this because I paid a lot for it and I would definitely do it again as well. The other 500 piece puzzle I have is this one by Pomegranate Puzzles. And the illustrator of this one is Rebecca Campbell. This puzzle is called The Menagerie and it's like a bunch of zoo animals 
on this like green background. This one was also a lot of fun. I've done this several times. Some of the edge pieces were really hard to fit and they aligned with other pieces. Like they fit in multiple spots, which I find always quite annoying when puzzles do that. So again, not my absolute favorite quality of a puzzle. So I'm not entirely sure if I would buy from this brand again. And this brand actually usually focuses on artwork and I don't totally love to do artwork because they're usually a lot more harder. We'll get to that later. Next up, I have this thousand piece puzzle of this lovely bird and squirrel winter scene. It's very, very cute. I did this last winter time with my mom and it was a lot of fun. I've never heard of this brand before, Falcon Deluxe, but deluxe is the right word. These were probably the most highest quality puzzle pieces I have ever felt. They snapped amazingly into each other and they fit perfectly. And like they only fit into their corresponding spot. I've never seen this brand in any stores before, but I absolutely loved it and would definitely buy more from this brand. A little backstory and you'll see as this video goes along. During early 2020 lockdown during the pandemic, OfferUp was a very dangerous place because I got a lot of plants there. My husband got a lot of exercise equipment and I got a lot of puzzles. This like older man was selling a box of puzzles for $30 and there's probably about 50 puzzles in there. The box was a mix of really nice puzzles like this and and some not so much ones. But overall that was a score because I paid 30 bucks for 50 puzzles, which is ridiculous. And I found some really incredible puzzles. This one being one of them. Another thousand piece puzzle that I got as a gift is this beautiful like fairy forest woodland woman. And this is Art and Fable Puzzle Company. And this is like a velvet puzzle. The material of this puzzle is almost similar to that like velvety smooth covers that some paperbacks have. This puzzle is very fun to touch and it actually came with like this size an art piece print of this puzzle that you can hang. This puzzle was quite difficult but I really enjoyed it and there's even a little bee which is probably why my friend Lily gifted to me in the first place. This was very whimsical and fun to do. And probably my most hardest puzzle is this 2000 piece world map puzzle. I've now done this one twice. This one is a beast. So if you do happen to do a puzzle this size and with this print, it will take you quite a while. So make sure you have a separate puzzle space for it. But this one is a lot of fun, even though it's a beast and I've done it a couple times already. I plan on keeping it because I think I will be doing this one throughout my years of puzzling. It's just a lot of fun. It's very intricate. I love doing the map and following the lines. I just thoroughly enjoy this puzzle, even though it's quite a project to take on. So switching gears next up, I'll be talking about some puzzles that I've completed and will be unhauling. I'll most likely just be passing these along to some friends of mine who also love to puzzle, potentially putting it on offer up if they're a really nice puzzle or just donating it to Goodwill. Or I know one of my friends said there are little free libraries that oftentimes people leave puzzles. So if it's not too big and wouldn't take up too much space, I might just be a little fairy and drop off some puzzles in some book little free libraries because again, book and puzzles make a great pairing. <laughs> so the puzzle that I actually just completed yesterday is this really lovely circular puzzle by Eboo, which is actually a brand that I've wanted to do and I really enjoyed their pieces and their puzzles. This one I'm just borrowing from a friend, so I will be returning it. I am keeping my eye out for this brand if I ever find any of their puzzles on sale. I also think I featured this one in a recent vlog, but this was a donut puzzle and it came in this really fun bag. I found this in a little free library and it says, I did this puzzle and now it's your turn and you like write your name and the day you finish it and you pass it along. I will 100% be putting this in a little free library. It's the perfect size. It's the small puzzle. It's a fully wood puzzle, so it's like laser cut. It's really high quality design. I looked up this brand, it's Trove Puzzles. They're very, very pricey for the tiny puzzle that you get, but they are really high quality and they're made out of wood and they're really cool prints and stuff. So this would also make a fantastic little gift. The next seven puzzles that I'm gonna mention all came in that box of 30 puzzles that I bought. And I've done quite a bit of them and mostly have enjoyed them, but I just will be passing them along because they're not like, my favorite design ones and I just don't need to own them anymore and I don't see myself doing them again. So I will be passing them along to other friends. This first one is this little bird puzzle and it's actually missing one piece, which is why I'm passing it along. I did put a note inside that says it's missing one piece. Some people don't really care, that doesn't bother them. I am someone who like hates if there's a missing puzzle piece, but that's what you get sometimes when you get puzzles off of offer up or even at Goodwill. So that's just how it goes. We'll be passing this one along. There were two puzzles by this brand, Charles Wisaki by the Buffalo brand. They're like colonial America vibes. These were really fun. I found the pieces also very high 
quality really nice to do enjoy them overall this one's also missing one piece this one isn't but i had fun with it i don't see myself doing it again this puzzle is by bits and pieces also really enjoyed the quality of it this is like a harvest fall vibes little farm setting was really fun to do enjoyed it just don't see myself doing it a second time something i discovered myself is that i actually really enjoy puzzles that are collages like this now this one's all about beer brands i don't really drink beer or care about beer what i like about collages is that you're basically doing like little puzzles over and over again so they're quite easy to do they're an enjoyable experience but i will be passing this along and maybe someone who loves beer would pick it up in a very similar vein another collage puzzle is the springbok movie poster puzzle with like old school movie posters i will admit that i haven't seen most of these this was fun and i enjoyed this brand and the way this puzzle went but i don't really need to keep it and this one i'm the most hesitant to give away i still may keep it it's this 1500 piece puzzle of the u.s and like major landmarks so you have the space needle the golden gate bridge mount rushmore new york city washington dc monument chicago hollywood a bunch of street signs like different highlights of the u.s it was a fun puzzle it was a bit of a beast as well and i enjoyed doing it but for some reason i don't see myself doing it again that's why i put it in my unhaul pile i have two puzzles that were actually gifted to me but i will be passing them along the first one is this farmer's market 750 piece puzzle this one my mother-in-law gifted to me and i really enjoyed it i've actually done it i think two or three times now but i've just i've done it so much that i don't see myself doing it another time this one was gifted to me by a friend of mine who knew i love puzzles it's this like camping scene and i love ravensburger ravensburger is a great puzzle brand their quality's top notch but for some reason this one i just found kind of frustrating to do there's a lot of very similar pieces but i just really don't think i'd ever do this one again and and in a very similar vein puzzles that i'm glad i did once but i will never do again because my gosh they were hard this one is this pretty peacock puzzle this is so hard because everything's the same there's zero distinction except you know maybe this part doing all of these was so hard and it just takes too long and it's just one of those things where you just have to divide the pieces by shape and then just keep trying until a shape fits so it kind of takes away from the puzzling experience also remember when i was talking about art pieces that i don't like doing starry night i really really did not like doing this puzzle this one was a challenge and very very hard because also the pieces were very similar and it's all of that like impressionist painting so it was just very hard to tell the pieces apart i'm glad i did it but i won't be doing it a second time all right and then really quickly in the last category i have some puzzles that i own that i have not yet completed that i'll probably be working on during this cozy winter season that's when i most do my puzzles and perfect for the holiday time again a lot of these i got in that box of 30 so some of them are super random that i would never pick out for myself at our store but they came in that like huge box so i got some random puzzles in here and a puzzle is a puzzle so I'm gonna do it and when I'm done I'll probably just pass it along if it wasn't a favorite the first one though I'm borrowing from a friend of mine and that is this national park puzzle it is also a collage so it's like those little puzzles within a puzzle this one will probably be my next puzzle that I do because when I borrow something I like to return it on a somewhat timely manner this one was in that big box this is a thousand five hundred piece puzzle so it's quite a big one it's like this tropical scene it's by Buffalo this brand is really big in Target this one though is very fitting for the season it's this like cozy cat cabin puzzle by cobble hill this one came in that big box of 30 there's a big cat kind of looks like lexi our cat so i'll probably be doing this one after the national park one another collage puzzle puzzles with heart this is the same as that beer puzzle but this one's classic cars again don't really care about classic cars but a puzzle is a puzzle and this one's also a bit collagey probably would be fun to do but after i'm done i'll probably pass it along to someone who would enjoy this print more definitely a puzzle that's not really fitting for me it's by Educa. it's this huge beer puzzle another one that's kind of collagey but also feels hard because there's a lot of similar colors so i'm interested how that would go but i do want to give it a try but then i'll be definitely pass it along this is the puzzle that i'm most scared about but i was shocked that it came in that box of 30. this is huge ravensburger puzzle it's 2000 pieces so it's just as big as that one world map however the print is so similar like all of these flowers look exactly the same so that's gonna be really hard this is the palace of versailles in france which i've actually visited too which is cool i definitely 
definitely want to give this a try. Ravensburger again, quality is fantastic, but this just feels so hard. Like I know this is going to be a very difficult puzzle. And then the rest, I'll just go through really quickly. Again, all came in that big box of 30. I'm not super excited about them, but I do want to do them and then I'll probably pass them along. This first one is this Nutcracker one, which this one's actually kind of cute. Thousand piece puzzle by Masterpieces. This is another bird one. The other one was missing a piece. I'm wondering if this one does too, so it makes me a little bit hesitant about it. This is by Audubon, also Masterpieces. Another collage puzzle. I actually forgot that I did do this one with friends and it was a lot of fun, but I'm gonna put in my unhaul. Another White Mountain one that's very fall. It's about like a family raking leaves in front of their house. Not very excited about this one because this also just feels very hard. There's lots of brown, so I don't know about doing this one, but I'll, I'll keep it for now. There were two um, Can You Find It series. This one is like a bakery or store or something, like a little old school store. And it's supposed to be like an I Spy as you do your puzzle. And then this one's also like a kitchen scene and also an I Spy. I wanna give it a try before I hate on it. And lastly, a Betty Crocker cookbooks white mountain collage puzzle and this 1000 piece of like two women on a train like an old like an old school little like trolley train i don't know but those are some that i want to try so there you have it that is my puzzle collection puzzles that i own i love puzzles that i own that i still want to do and some puzzles that i've done but it's time to give away. Oh, and I actually did forget, I was gifted this lovely puzzle sorter by my friend Lily for my birthday so that you could put your puzzle pieces away and they're easier to sort so you don't have to like take out bowls and stuff. This would make a great gift for someone in your life that loves puzzles. But besides that, thank you so much for watching this really random video. Appreciate you guys tuning in and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye.